So what's the what's the what's the the tip that you give the most, Gavin? That people just kind of go, oh wow, that that is just amazing. That's going to change my life. Um, I'm not sure it was a little tip, but just thinking on what we were just on the thread of what Gary was saying is that between chat and teams, this might answer both questions. Is like I always say, like you need a digital equivalent of an open plan office because if you work in hybrid, you know the, there is lots of benefits to open plan offices, and you know lots of people hate them because you get interrupted a lot. But like a digital version of the open plan office has got the benefit you can not get interrupted when you don't want to get interrupted, and then you can come in and see everything else that's going on. Mm. You know, but the people didn't even know you needed to know, and uh, you know that can just speed up time decision making. Uh, so much that that one thing is just getting your team structure right can unlock so so many benefits and so the, the I guess the biggest tip I give is that like I said most of the times that people have left their teams open uh, or they've locked it down completely so they're only using group chats and so which is effectively siloed so whether is it, is it siloed because people have set their own teams up and they're quite small and so no one else can see them or they're in group chats which are you know, not everyone can see. So the the biggest tip I give is to like, well, if you were setting up an open plan office, you wouldn't have loads of little offices. Ideally, you would have one big office that everyone could see, and we that's a massive change in open working. People are going to start their files in Teams. People are going to put their things in Teams. If you're talking about like a one to one with your boss, or you're going to the doctors, then maybe put that in chat. But for like work, that goes in the Teams yeah. grid, so everyone can see it. So just exactly out there like you were saying, Gary. You're answering the question once because it's searchable. You know, people can see that things that might they might not even know they need to ask, uh, and someone else has asked that question, and uh, and so yeah, usually trying to get away with one large team is the right thing to do. I, in my opinion, for at least medium-sized businesses and lower, I guess once you get twenty thousand people, obviously you're never going to have like one big team, but you might have bigger than you think, like one per country, say, yeah. something like that. Um, I, like I like that that phrase, digital open plan office. That's uh, yeah. that's quite an interesting interesting concept. That if you said that to people, they'd kind of look at you and go, "That's making me think about what that actually means and what yeah. what the connotations are of a of a digital open plan office." Because people talk about the water cooler all the time, but actually, I like that that concept more because you are still talking about having different areas of an office space and different areas where people are sitting in terms of channels and things. You can do a lot with that, that phrase. I'm going to steal that. That's, that's it's, nice. It's a, it's a great analogy.